streamline customer service operations with Service Process Studio. As a service representative, you must understand customers' service process requirements and pain points. For example, if you need to simplify the process of verifying and approving a temporary credit limit increase, plan to streamline requests for temporary credit limit increases. As an admin, use Service Process Studio to create and activate a service process definition for a temporary credit limit increase request and automate the tasks to fulfill the request. As an agent, launch the associated request form and quickly capture the customer's request for a temporary credit limit increase. There are three main steps involved in implementing a service process end-to-end. -end. Step 1. Create and activate a service process definition. Service process definitions include Apex classes, so you need a developer or an admin with developer skills. A service process definition includes request intake, case creation, and request fulfillment. Create a streamlined request intake process by using data attributes, omniscripts, and preprocessors. For example, the admin defines essential data attributes such as current credit limit, credit limit increase percentage, reason for credit limit increase, effective date, and expiry date to capture relevant customer information for credit limit increase requests. The admin then creates an OmniScript in the OmniStudio Designer. The OmniScript guides the service agents to capture the details required for the temporary credit limit increase request. If you need to run any business validations before creating a case for the service process request, then add a preprocessor. A preprocessor contains business logic. For example, business logic for a temporary credit limit increase request rejects the request if the customer's credit score is less than 700. After the request form is ready, create an Apex class to invoke the Case Creation Connect API. The Apex class contains a method that calls the Connect API with all of the data attributes created for the service process. When the Apex class is ready, the admin plugs it into the request form to create a case when the request is submitted. Set up the automation to fulfill a service request. If it's a straightforward process, use a simple flow. But if it's a more complex process that involves multiple stages and different teams, use a flow orchestrator. For temporary credit limit increase requests, the admin creates a flow for temporary credit limit increase definitions by using Flow Builder. The admin then creates a flow orchestrator to trigger the flow. If needed, use integration definitions to connect with external systems via API. Step 2. After you activate the service process definition, link the request form to an action launcher deployment. An admin creates a temporary credit limit increase deployment and adds the request form to the action launcher component. Step 3. A service agent launches a service process from the action launcher on a customer's record detail page. In this example, the service agent initiates the temporary credit limit increase process by launching the request form from the action launcher. The service agent collects details for the temporary credit limit increase from the customer by using the request form. Optionally, deploy the temporary credit limit increase request form on a self-service portal, such as the Financial Services Client Portal. Your customers can directly raise a request for a temporary credit limit increase without contacting your service agents. And that's your intro to the Service Process Studio framework. To learn more, check out these resources, or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.